YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Antha Barber coming back at you with another haircut tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be doing a high skin fade. So I like to begin each cut by brushing or combing out my client's hair. And the reason for this is I like to get everything to lay in its natural direction. Now that I got everything brushed out, laying neatly in its natural direction, I'm gonna take my trimmer and begin to create my first guideline, which is gonna be my bald guide. All right, so now that my bald guideline has been created, I'm now gonna take my foil shaver and I'm gonna completely bald out that guide. When I get towards the top of the guide where the weight is, I am gonna use that flick out motion because I wanna demonstrate a smooth transition from completely bald to stubble because later that's gonna help this fade pop. So before I go any further with my fade work, I want to go ahead and get the top knocked down to its desired length. My client likes a wall number 7 closed, so that's what I have on my clipper right now, and I'm just knocking everything down evenly. All right, so now that I got everything knocked down evenly, I'm now gonna come in with my clipper with the lever open and I'm gonna begin to create and set my next guideline. I'm giving myself, I'd say, about an inch right here. Again, this is gonna be a high skin fade, so there's not a whole lot of room to work with, but I still wanna give myself enough space to allow a smooth transition in my blend. All right, so now that I set my guide with the lever open, I'm now gonna close my lever and begin to blend from the bottom of that guide right back up towards the top of that guide. And little by little as I work my way up, you're gonna notice that I open my lever. And every time that I open my lever and I work my way up, you'll also notice that that guide's gonna start moving up with me. But that's okay because that's exactly what I'm looking for. By the time I get towards the top of that guide and my lever's fully extended, it'll be completely blended out. All right, now that I went through my step work, I'm still seeing some weight. So I wanna go ahead and take care of that with some detail work. So I'm gonna use some lever play, meaning I'm gonna open and close my lever as needed right here to work out any dark spots that I see. And I'll also use a lot of the corner of my blade to focus in specific areas 
that I just want to knock out without having to be so committed like I would if I were to use a whole blade. Because anytime you use a whole blade, you run a risk of creating or setting a new guide. And that's something we're all trying to avoid. Right where I'm showing you, there is still some weight left behind. And my clipper wasn't removing it. So what that's telling me is, it's telling me that my trimmer set and created that weight that I'm seeing. So the way that I'm going to remove it is by using the same tool that I used to put it in. And it happened when I created my bald guide, this new... Um, babyliss trimmer that I have it cuts very close so when I set it in originally and then I try to remove it with my clipper closed it wasn't able to because the babyliss silver FX doesn't completely zero gap but again anytime you set in weight the way you remove it if you're struggling is you use the same exact tool that you use to put it in to remove it All right, so now that I have that blended out, I'm now going to come back in with my Babyliss Pro Silver FX with my wall number one color guard on with the lever fully open, and I'm going to begin to set and create my next guideline. I'm not going to give myself the same amount of space that I gave myself with the previous guide because this is going to be a high skin fade and we're kind of running out of room. But I am going to give myself a little under it because I do want to keep everything consistent. Alright, so now that my guide was created with the lever fully open, I'm now going to close my lever and begin to blend from the bottom of this guide right back up towards the top of this guide. So I'm literally going to come in with the lever closed and I'm going to begin to blend from the bottom of this guide right back up towards the top of the guide where I just left off with the lever fully open. Typically the one closed tends to leave some weight behind, but that's okay, I'm going to show you how to remove it in the next step. Alright, so now I want to remove the weight that I see that the one closed left behind. So I threw on my wall half color guard and I'm going to come in with the lever closed and I'm just going to flick out at the weight that I see. And you're going to see that I'll use a whole blade, sometimes I'll use a corner of my blade. But anytime that I'm using either or, I'm flicking out at that weight that I see. And if I feel at any time that I may have went too high, You'll see that I'll open my lever as needed to blend that out. Alright, so now that my fade works coming together, now it's time to connect the fade into the length on top. And so the way I'm going to do that is I threw on my wall one and a half premium guard and I'm going to come in with my lever open. And as I begin to clean up, I'm going to use that flick out motion when I get towards that length on top. Because again, I'm just trying to bestly connect this without setting in any guides. So once I come in and clean up with the lever fully open, I'll then begin to close my lever and I'll use that fade down process to complete the blend.
All right, y'all, so as you watch me blend out this last portion of his haircut and we begin to approach the final look, I wanted to take this time to say thank you and I appreciate each and every one of you. A way that I show my appreciation aside from dropping these tutorials for you, I like to do giveaways. And I just did a really dope giveaway, shout out to my winner of that. And I also want to say shout out to Barber's Gold for collaborating with me on that giveaway. It was a really dope setup and it went to a really dope individual, so it's all around good vibes. I do want to say that when we went live on Instagram to choose and announce a winner that the turnout wasn't very big. So shout out to the people that did show up. And the reason why I want to mention this is I got more complaints than there were people in the lobby of the live of the giveaway. And what I mean by that is there were a lot more of you hit me up on DM complaining, feeling like you missed out on the giveaway because you did. For the people that showed up in the live lobby, hey, shout out to you and they listened correctly to the giveaway. So again, shout out to them. So make sure you turn on your post notification bell so you don't miss out on this dopeness that this channel has to offer. Again, I'm getting ready to do another giveaway. I don't want to announce what it is right now, but it's coming up really soon and it's super dope. So make sure you got on your notification bell. Again, I want to say I appreciate y'all. Be blessed and be a blessing. I'm out.